Hey, what's up everybody? David Wood here once again for David Wood FX with another GIMP tutorial. And in today's GIMP tutorial, we will be taking a look at creating this Heroes logo, which you can see here. We've got this solar eclipse going on. We've got this lens flare effect up in the corner here. And then the text and the smaller eclipse in the middle. So, before we get started, also I have to show you my cool background that I made. Uh, Videocopilot.net Smoking Hot After Effects Tutorials I thought that up on my own because Andrew Kramer is awesome. Anyway, moving on with the GIMP tutorial, uh, we are going to create a new image and I'm going to do 1280 by 800 because that is my screen size. I'm going to fill it with black and then create a new layer, make it white, and the size will do 300 by 300 and then we're going to go to filters distorts polar coordinates and hit OK and then we'll send to this then what we have to do is take this layer and duplicate it two times and the top layer we are going to go to colors invert and make that black and then we can shut off the second layer the bottom one we're going to go to layer layer to image size and then we're going to go to filters blur gaussian blur and give it a blur of 40 and now we can take this layer and merge it down with the background next what we need to do is also take the other one do the same to that add a gaussian blur and then just hide that now we'll take the background and we'll go to filters light and shadow supernova and we're going to set the radius to 100 and then position this in the middle of our composition which is 640 by 4 and change the color to a yellowish orange and just lower the spokes amount because I don't like it at a perfect 100 okay just like that then we can go to colors levels and grab the black slider and bring that down so we don't have these rays going beyond the edge of our image and then we can grab the white one and push that up and then go into the red channel and grab the white slider and push that up as well so just like that should work uh, we can go into color balance and add a little more red okay just like that then what we'll do is we'll take our gradient tool also known as the blend tool and we'll choose foreground to transparent to make our foreground color black and just kind of go around the edges and just make sure that these rays do not go beyond the edges of our image because that will completely ruin the effect that we have and then also go in from the corners so it doesn't look square and that looks pretty good except for this one that's a little long okay uh, not too bad next what we can do is turn on these other ones and as you can see we've got a pretty good effect already going on um, take the second uh, glowing or blurred white circle and switch our default colors around so black is in the background go to layer transparency remove alpha channel and then set the blend mode of this layer to add and you can see it there we go also what we can do to this layer is go to filters distorts uh, ripple and what we're going to do is increase the period so we get a bigger wave and we can just increase the amplitude by a little bit about seven should work fine just so it gives it a wavy effect and then reshow ripple but instead of horizontal as the orientation set it to vertical so now we've got a crazy looking sphere okay pretty good uh, we can also take this layer and add a color balance to that as well and we can play around with that we may or may not leave that 
I guess that looks fine. And this black layer, the edges are pretty sharp, so we can just go uh, layer, layer boundary size, and increase the boundary size by about 15 pixels, center it again, hit resize. Now we have a little bit of edge room, and then we can add a Gaussian blur of about 5 to that, just to, sharp, or just to blur it a little bit because it's pretty harsh. And then we go into levels, go to the alpha channel, and bring the white and black sliders toward each other. Just like that should work fine. All right, looking pretty good. Next, what we need to do is create a new black layer. And we'll set the blend mode of this layer to overlay. And as you can see, it really crushes all the colors. Uh, we can just lower the opacity of that. We don't need it at 100%. About 50 or 60 should work fine. And then we'll create another new black layer and go to filters, render, clouds, plasma. Click the randomize, set the turbulence on two or three. And colors desaturate. Set the blend mode to overlay. So we have some atmospheric noise in there and lower the opacity of that as well. And now the last thing to create this effect is we'll create another new black layer above it. Grab our gradient tool, just do foreground to background and make it white as foreground, black as background. Set the blend mode to screen and then go in here, uh, change the shape to radial and then near the edge just click and stroke out and make a gradient similar to that. And then we can go into levels and crush the blacks and increase the whites so we have a hot spot then we can go into color balance and just play around with the effects for this to get a nice result uh, just like that maybe increase the shadow just like that and set the blend mode of this back on the screen. Uh, not bad. Last thing we can just do is go into filters, recently used Supernova, set the radius down, and place it right in the middle of your effect and hit OK. And again we need to go to levels, bring down the black slider, not too much, just like that and set it back on screen. Okay, looking pretty sharp. Uh, next we just need to uh, add the text and for this we're going to use the font known as Futura. Futura Medium, set it on white, type in HE two spaces ES and increase the kerning between it to about 32. Let's see. I missed a letter in there. And increase the size. Maybe decrease the kerning a little bit. Maybe increase it. I don't know. It should be around 30. And then center the text up. Uh, turn off the text layer. Go to layer. New from visible and then scale this layer down. Make sure the chain is connected. Scale it. Just like that. Place it into the scene. Set the blend mode to screen. Turn the text back on and then finish positioning it. Okay, just like that we've got a Heroes logo. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, I'm David Wood, David Wood FX, and I will see you guys next time.